Hello, today uh, I had a request um, to do top 10 Beatles songs with brass overdubs. So I thought that was an interesting topic. I don't think I've covered it before. I, I suppose I could do one with uh, strings as well, but I'm going to stick to brass for this video. And uh, I've chosen 10 songs, um, which I think have outstanding brass overdubs. And the first one is Lady Madonna. <coughs> which was on this Hey Jude album, obviously a, sing a standalone single in 68. And uh, George Martin's got some great brass going on on that track. And there's a good saxophone solo as well from Ronnie Scott. Um, so that was number 10. Number nine from Revolver, uh, Got to Get You Into My Life. I'm not sure who came up with that, those brass lines, but it's so central to the song that um, it's, absolutely impossible to imagine the song without them. So I'm not sure if Paul suggested the tune to George or, or George Martin just came up with those um, brass overdubs, but they are abs an absolutely in integral part of the song. So that was number nine. <coughs> number eight is All You Need Is Love from this album, standalone single from 67. As we know, and again, um, the genius of George Martin because um, it's hard to imagine that all you need is love without that um, reply of the brass after after the title line, uh, integral part of the song. And again, it'd be interesting to know if George Martin came up with that or John suggested an arrangement like that. Either way, it's the collective genius of the, the four Beatles along with George Martin, which was so successful as we know. Um, number seven, I've got Obla D, Obla Da from the White Album and uh, a lovely arrangement from George Martin which really uh, is totally in, in um, sync with the, the sound of the song, the mood of the song. It's a jaunty tune. Again, I think the finished version on the White Album is, is the definitive version. When they were trying to do it earlier, uh, it wasn't qu quite working and uh, John's piano is obviously central to the final version, but I think the, the overdubs as well are also a brilliant part of that song. And the, and the next song I've got is from the White Album as well, Honey Pie. Uh, and if you listen to the 50th anniversary edition of the White Album, there's an instrumental version of Honey Pie without the vocals. And uh, it's just a joy to listen to that. Uh, just a wonderful... Uh, arrangement from George Martin. So you know, I keep on saying the name George Martin, but he, I guess he's responsible for a lot of these classic uh, brass overdubs. And then number set five is also from the White Album, Savoy Truffle, uh, where again, George Martin's producing this um, wonderful horn section all the way through the song. And I think George asked for George Martin to mix it slightly wonkily in the mix so it was, I think it was a lot brighter on the on the original take that they did and uh, I think George was, was saying no I don't want it like that I want it kind of um, well as it turned out on the final song which is uh, slightly muffled but uh, wonderful atmosphere and it really lifts this song maybe Chris Thomas had something to do with with this as well I'm not sure who who arranged those horns but um Going to give George Martin and Chris Thomas credit for that. And then number four we've got from Abbey Road, uh, the wonderful horns on Golden Slumbers and Carry That Weight. Now there are strings as well, but I'm, I'm particularly calling out the horns, um, the reprise of the You Never Give Me Your Money tune is done on the horns and uh, that big note before the Carry That Weight chorus. I think it's just masterful. Um, the production on so many of these albums is first rate. It's difficult to find words which haven't been said before or which express just how good they are. Um, and the list goes on. I mean, we're, we're now at number three, and this is also, this is from Mystery Tour Penny Lane. Uh, just a wonderf wonderfully tuneful horn overdub on that song and got the great um, piccolo solo as well but uh, in particular the horns 
absolutely integral part of the song. Sorry to keep repeating myself, but uh, it was just um, George Martin's production fit these Beatles songs um, like a glove. And uh, this is another outstanding example of that. And then number two I've got for no one, although it doesn't have the horns all the way through, it's got that beautiful French horn solo in the middle, which is one of the best instrumental passages of, out of any Beatles song. And I think it's just beautifully done. Uh, again, not sure who wrote that tune, whether Roy Mason came in and is it Roy Mason who did it? I'm not sure. I know he did the one on Penny Lane, but uh, sorry if I got that wrong, but uh, it's just a beautiful uh, adds a, a degree of absolute beauty to the song and as if it needed much addition. And then number one, I've got the title track, um, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, which is, um, you know, you, you can see them all carrying brass instruments on, on the front there, so it's, it was entirely appropriate that George Martin would put horns on that. And uh, it's just, it just, I mean, it, when this album came out, it must have been such a breath of fresh air in terms of they'd never done anything like this before. And I know Pepper tends to get uh, downplayed these days compared to Revolver or Rubber Soul, say, but uh, I think it's, you know, if push comes to shove it, it's probably their greatest technical achievement. Production-wise, George Martin probably is more proud of this or was more proud of this album than any other because he... Uh, his production is, is brilliant, and on this track in particular. Um, so that was my top 10 Beatles brass overdubs. Um, sorry if you didn't agree with them, or if you've got some which you are on your list which are not on mine, but uh, just my opinion. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.